Electronics. Today's video we are going to discuss about clampers. That is we are going to see how to answer the clamper circuit problems on an exam point of view. Okay, so we will be seeing what are the basic type of clampers that can come in question papers. What is the output equation and how the waveform is actually looking like. So we have already done a video on clippers. This is clampers. So these are actually very basic circuits. Uh, the difference, the main difference between clippers and clampers is that clippers can be thought of as wave shaping circuits. That means it is actually used for modifying the shape of a uh, input waveform or in order to uh, manipulate or vary the shape of waveform we use clampers, sorry clippers. Whereas clampers are used for shifting the DC level of your signal. Okay, that is either for adding or subtracting of DC level or for level changing of your waveform, we use clampers. There is no change in shape of your output waveform. Only difference is that the DC level is being shifted. For example, if you see this clamber, that is this waveform, this is the input waveform, this is the output waveform. So only the DC level is being shifted here. There is no change in the shape of the waveform. Okay, so basic classification of clampers can be positive clamber, negative clamber and clampers with bias. This bias can be either positive bias or negative bias. Okay, we will discuss about all those things. Okay, so the basic two type of clampers are this positive and negative clamber. I'm, I won't be uh, telling all the theory and working everything. We will be discussing this in an exam point of view. Okay, so this is the positive clamber and this is the negative clamber. Now, how to identify whether this given clamber is a positive clamber or a negative clamber? It is actually by looking into the position or uh, the shape of the diode. If the diode is pointed upwards, it is called a positive clamber. Then, if the diode is pointed downwards, it is called a negative clamper. Now, what is actually uh, being done in a positive clamping circuit or a positive clamper? Uh, in a positive clamper, this is a positive clamper, in which the waveform is entirely shifted towards the positive quadrant. There is no waveform present in the negative quadrant. Generally, uh, if it is a basic positive clamper, the waveform will be entirely present in the positive quadrant. In the negative quadrant, you cannot find any waveform. Whereas in case of negative clamber, your waveform will be entirely shifted towards the negative quadrant and there won't be any waveform present in the positive quadrant. So that is the basic difference between positive and negative clamber. Positive clamber is actually adding some DC level uh, to the input waveform whereas negative clamber is subtracting. So you can say it like that, that the positive clamber is shifting your waveform entirely to the positive quadrant. Whereas the negative clamber is shifting the waveform to the negative quarter. Okay, so let us see with the very basic circuit of a positive clamper. So this is the input waveform you are giving to this uh, positive clamber circuit. It consists of a sine wave, you can use square wave or any wave. This wave is having a positive peak of plus Vm and negative peak of minus Vm. So this is the positive clamber circuit as I said in order to identify the uh, clamber circuit. You should look into the diode. It is pointed upwards. So it is a positive clamber. There will be a capacitor and there is a load resistor. This is the load resistor. You are applying the input VI to the input side of the circuit. You are taking the output from the load. So this capacitor and this diode has a major role in this clampers. Capacitor will charge and the diode is just acting like a switch. That is, it, this diode decides when you get your output and when the output is or when the uh, uh, input is actually going to the ground. So, this diode will act as a switch. We know that diodes are unidirectional switches. So, it acts as a switch and this capacitor charges and discharges in various uh, some, that is size of the signal and hence the DC level is getting shifted. Okay. So, due to this charging and discharging of the capacitor, actually the level shifting is happening. You should know this as a basic working of a clamper. So, I will explain it in a very, very brief manner. So, during the negative half cycle, what is happening? If you see the negative half cycle, when the negative half cycle is coming to the input side, the diode uh, is actually getting, the diode is connected in such a way that it is, uh, first cathode is coming, then anode. So, it will get forward bias. This is a shunned connection of diode. So, when the diode is getting forward bias means the output will be going to the ground or if you apply the input it will go to the ground you won't get any output when the diode is 
forward bias in a shunt connection, right? So, during the negative half cycle, your input is actually getting coupled to the ground. But during this time, the capacitor is also getting charged during the negative half cycle, okay? The capacitor is actually getting charged to a value equal to plus Vm. And during the positive half cycle or during the starting of the positive half cycle, the diode will get reverse biased or it will be in the non-conducting state during the starting of the positive half cycle and the capacitor will discharge and that will be equal to your output waveform. So just understand that uh, if you don't want to mug up all the theory, just understand that during the positive half cycle capacitor or during the beginning of the positive half cycle capacitor discharges and during the negative half cycle capacitor is getting charged. Okay. And this is the output equation for your positive clamper. V out is equal to Vc plus Vi. Vc is the charge in, stored in the capacitor. Vi is the input voltage coming to the capacitor. This will be the output. Vc, Vc is a charge present in the capacitor. We know that during the negative half cycle, capacitor is getting charged. And the charge is equal to Vm. And during the positive half cycle, what is the input coming? Vi is equal to Vm. So, you can write this as Vm, Vc is equal to Vm plus Vi is again Vm. So, total it is 2Vm. So, that is how we are getting the output equation as 2Vm for a positive clamper. Okay. So, just know that during the negative half cycle, capacitor is charging. During the positive half cycle or during the beginning of the positive half cycle, it discharges a value equal to 2Vm. Okay. And please note down this equation. Or you can simply note down as V out is equal to 2 Vm for the case of a positive clamper. Okay. And this will be your output waveform. That is your output waveform is present on the positive quadrant. So, Vm is now the new DC level or new level of your output waveform. Your output is starting from Vm and the positive peak is 2 Vm. Negative peak is now 0 there is no signal present in the negative quadrant. Okay, so this is how a positive clamper output waveform is looking like and the output equation is V out is equal to 2 Vm. And I hope that the basic connection of the diode is clear to you during a positive clamper, uh, in a positive clamper circuit, diode is connected upwards. In a negative clamper circuit, diode is connected downwards. So if you are being given a question, a circuit like this, you should identify that it is a positive clamper circuit. Normally, if you see a diode and a capacitor and a resistor connected, a simple circuit is that, then it will be a clamper circuit and look for the direction of the uh, diode to know whether it is positive clamper or negative clamper. Okay, moving on to the next clamper, which is negative clamper. So, this uh, is actually the opposite of a positive clamper. So, again, uh, you are going to give a same sine wave with plus Vm minus Vm peak to peak value. That is peak to peak is just 2 Vm. Positive peak is at plus Vm and negative peak is at minus Vm. The diode is connected downward. So, it is a negative clamper. Again, there is a capacitor. Capacitor is getting charged and discharged during various half cycles and according to which your value will get varied. So, your waveform, output waveform is this and the output waveform is present only during the, only on the negative quadrant. Okay. So, uh, now your new DC level is minus Vm and the peak value is actually a minus 2 Vm is the peak value of output. So it is like this minus from minus Vm. So uh, the signal is entirely shifted to the negative quadrant. So minus Vm then peak value is minus 2 Vm. So this is how your output waveform will look like. And the output equation V out is equal to minus 2 Vm. Okay. So please note down the basic circuits how the input and output waveforms is looking like and how the output equation is, uh, that is, what is the output equation for a basic positive and basic negative clamor. And please note this equation, that is, uh, this diode connections. For the case of a positive clamor, it is towards up and for towards down for a negative clamor. These are the basic things you should know for answering the clamper circuit questions. Now, let us see what is the bias type of clampers, that is, for positive clamber also, for negative clamber also, there are biased uh, connections. Let's see that. Okay. Next, we are going to discuss about positive clamper circuits with bias. So, the positive clamper circuits with bias means external voltage is being added to 
the clamper circuit okay so this voltage is uh, generally added along with the diode this bias voltage applied can be positive bias or can be negative bias so we can have positive clamper with positive bias also positive clamper with negative bias so how the output waveform is varying we'll see the general uh, output waveform and the equation okay so this will be very useful if you uh, actually encounter these type of circuits in your question papers if you know this basic equation and if you know how the waveform is looking like you can answer the questions very easily so uh, we are going to uh, apply a waveform which is an input waveform that is a sine wave with a peak positive value plus vm peak negative value minus vm to this circuit which is a positive clamper circuit with a positive bias voltage vb vb is the bias voltage okay so uh, the output waveform will be looking like this it will be present entirely in the positive quadrant since the bias voltage is also positive it will be level shifted from the zero level this is a zero level and this is the plus vb is the level of the waveform now and this is the output equation v out is equal to 2 vi plus vb this is the output equation for a positive clamber with positive bias voltage of vb now let us see how the waveform is actually varying uh, consider that vi is equal to 0 when vi is equal to 0 v out will be equal to 2 0 plus vb right so it will be vb so when vi is 0 that is when your input is 0 your output is vb so that is your new level now consider when vi is equal to vm when your uh, input is at its peak value that is vm your output will be V out is equal to 2 Vm plus Vb. That is why I have marked this level as 2 Vm plus Vb. So that is your peak value now. And your uh, when your input is 0, your level of output is Vb. So this is how your output waveform is looking like. Now, how the uh, waveform is varying for the case of a positive clamber with negative bias, let's say. So the same waveform we are going to apply to the input side. Here we are going to connect a negative bias. That is VB is actually uh, in the reverse polarity of the earlier one. Okay. So this is a negative bias voltage that we are going to apply here. Your output waveform will be majorly present in the positive quadrant. But a slight portion will be present in the negative quadrant as well. Due to the negative bias that we apply. Okay. The output equation is like. Output equation is. V out is equal to 2 Vi minus Vb now. Let us consider when Vi is equal to 0. What will be the value? When Vi is equal to 0, V out is equal to minus Vb. So, that's why the waveform is present at minus Vb. When Vi is equal to 0, this is the level of the signal. Okay. Now, when Vi is equal to Vm, how will, the, how will it vary? V out is equal to 2 Vm minus Vb. So, this is the output uh, at the, um, at that is, uh, this is the output uh, waveform or the value when input is Vm. Okay. The output equation V out is equal to 2 Vi minus Vb. And since uh, it is a negative bias voltage applied, we are going to reduce it from the uh, output equation. That is V out is equal to 2 Vi minus Vb because the negative bias we are applying okay we are going to see about the biased negative clampers here again the bias can be positive bias or negative bias the diode is connected towards the downwards so it is a negative clamper okay so let us see the negative clamper with positive bias here uh, this is a negative clamper and the voltage applied vb is a positive bias voltage so this will be your output waveform the output waveform will be majorly present in the uh, negative quadrant, but a slight portion will be present in the positive quadrant due to the positive bias applied. Okay, this is the output equation. V out is equal to minus of 2 Vi minus Vb. Okay, this is the output equation. Consider when Vi is equal to 0, what will be the output? V out is equal to plus Vb. So that's why it is present here plus Vb. Then when Vi is equal to Vm, V out will be minus of 2 Vm minus Vb. And that's why we have written this negative peak as minus of 2 Vm minus Vb. 
So this is the general equation. So if you study this general equation, you just have to apply your bias voltage value here, your input value here, and then you can directly get your output waveform. You don't have to uh, go for the theory and the working. You just know, uh, need to know this is how the output waveform will look like and this is the output equation. Okay, then moving on to the next uh, circuit that is negative clamper with negative bias. Okay, so here the circuit is same, only difference is that the bias voltage applied is now negative. And this is how the waveform will be present. It will be majorly or entirely on the negative corner because the bias voltage is also now negative. So it will be starting, that is the level is now minus Vb. And this is the output equation. V out is equal to minus of 2Vi plus Vb. So when your input is, that is Vi is equal to 0, V out is equal to minus Vb. That is why it is present here. That is the level is here. Then when Vi is equal to Vm, how will it vary? When Vi is equal to Vm, it will be 2Vm, that is minus of 2Vm plus Vb. So it is why, that's why I have written this level as minus of 2Vm plus Vb. So please note this graphs and these levels and majorly this output equation in order to answer these type of clamber questions, okay. So these are the basic things, these are some tricks actually to uh, to answer the clamber questions. These are the basic categories of clamber questions and these are the output waveforms and equations. So only these things are uh, enough to answer 90% of the questions. I really hope that this video is useful for your preparation. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends. These type of questions can uh, be that is encountered in ISRO exams or gate exams or any competitive examinations of electronics. So I really hope that this video was useful. So for uh, more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.